Got some pretty flowers growing. Have somebody wanting to come and get all my garden stuff. I'm letting all of it go for $50. Just get it done. Get it out of here. I'm not taking it apart. So these little pamphlets that we got are in our little town that we're in right now in Duchesne. And this is just a bunch of like a Roosevelt map of the forest, a Duchesne National Forest map. A little lesson we could do with the kids are reading it about Bear County. Just some tips on how we're going to keep, you know, our, our campsite safe from bears and if a bear happens to come around. Just some really fun things, lessons that we can do with the kids. And then we always hit Dinosaur every year, Dinosaur Monument. We grab some of these so we can do some lessons with the kids before that too. Like as in just uh, vocabulary stuff, art stuff, things like that. It's just a big old map like we can have the kids pick out for art which drawing they want to attempt drawing out of all these little fossil pictures of dinosaurs well those aren't fossils but the pictures of the dinosaurs and then on the other side is just information a map we can have them write the map out and go over that of course with the older kids that know how to read and Forest um, office, the, the district offices. Uh, all this stuff is free. They can pick up state passes, um, federal passes, or uh, federal passes, not state passes. Um, they might be able to do state passes at some of them, depending on the the forestry uh, building itself. It's also where you go to get your hiking permits, your tree cutting permits uh, for Christmas, stuff like that as well. Uh, and there's some really neat programs out, out there that even I didn't know about. Like, there's the fourth grade program for um, the national forest districts in the United States. All fourth graders have a right to go out. They can get, they can cut down their own fruit, Christmas tree each year. Um, all you have to do is go to the forestry department, go talk to the rangers. They're, yeah, see they're what's super available cool. In your area. Yeah. That's really cool. So I got a whole bunch of these for the kids. One for each kid out of that. And then one of these to read with the kids, one of these to read with the kids. There is just, there's the maps I showed you guys about. There's this right here, leave no trace. This is really, really important. This is what we get on our kids. This is the number one thing we get on our kids. If they were to get a sucker from the store and throw the trash down and they make eye contact with me, they know they're in for a whole world of trouble. Uh, littering so this is basically you leave no trace when you go to a campsite you leave as, as it was you don't leave anything behind not even one little piece of plastic because that will back it in yeah back it out and that's really important so we got that and then here's just a visitor guide for the forest it's always important even if you think you know your areas you should always always carry a map because you never know you know you can get turned around so easily and then here's another visitor guide to this one, right here, different one. And yeah, we're gonna start out in Utah and work our way around the state parks. In every area we go, we're gonna look for or run into a national forestry district building like the one here that we first stopped to in Duchesne. And we're gonna visit it, we're gonna get more pamphlets, more information, more maps, more ideas. And that is how we are going to basically pick our travels. We're going to chase the sun. We're going to head towards the warmer months. So in December, I'm hoping that we end up in Florida because it's well warmer in Florida and I don't want to camp in the rain. Well, I'm sure it'll rain there, but you know what I'm saying. Not freezing. Also, Chris is showing me a map right here. It's not a map. That's an app. Oh. That's the National Forest Service app. So it's a National Forest Service app. And it's the National Park System, NPS uh, app. So M that allows you to find everything. NPS maps? Yeah, National Park System, NPS. NPS. And that app allows you to do some really cool stuff. Sure, you can look at every National Park monument, uh, reserve, trail, everything like that. But it'll show you what goes on around. 
around those areas what there is to offer, where there's places to stay, if there's no places to really stay around there, in and outside of the park, monument, anything like that. Um, and then um, it also has some things where you can mark your uh, America the Beautiful Pass like a passport. It's got passport stamps for every place you visit. So whenever you visit a place, you check in and it gives you a stamp for your passport showing, you know, all the places you visited. Some people dig that stuff. It's definitely cool for the kids. I like it. I think it's cool. So this year, if you're interested on in how we're doing schooling, we are going to road school. We're not doing any programs. We're not doing any set curriculums. We're going to go off the areas of where we visit, and we're going to make a curriculum every, basically every week, every time we set foot into an area. We're going to try and stick with the goal of staying a few days in the same area to travel around that area and do our schoolwork every week. And of course, it'll be the basic books that your kids need, like your language arts, your English, your spelling, your writing, math, things like that, the basic stuff that you know you need. But outside of that will be um, basically learning, learning the, the parks, the history, the History of the area, uh, uh, geography of the area. That'll be really important. So getting the stickers and stuff will be really important for the kids because they can smack that on our little tow behind trailer we won't be using a RV that's something that we were gonna get we're selling our big RV for two reasons the van won't pull that much weight in our, our 2021 Salem light um, trailer our bunkhouse is big our truck can barely even manage that one but when you're going to monuments and stuff like this sometimes trailers aren't like RV camping trailers aren't allowed in there or you can't get a big trailer through there so we're using That's a modified um, cargo trailer and I'll show you guys when we're ready to on how all of our setup's going to be in, in that. Of course we're not going to be living in a cargo trailer, but we will be doing camp tipping. I think that's going to be best for the kind of um, traveling that we're going to be doing. We're sleeping in our tents, we're going to pop up, tear down. We actually have a, what is it, like a $10,000 rooftop setup up here that we've never used that we're finally going to use. It's yeah. $12,000 worth of uh, rack, rooftop tent. <laughs> yeah, so it's not... We knew we would use it, and we when we bought it, we, we were going to do this exact yeah, thing. this was our plan. We didn't know how, but after learning and reading and figuring it out without a RV, you can do it. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to heal our bodies. We've destroyed our bodies. I think if we would have stayed at this property that we bought for our off-grid project, for sure, he would have been either. He would have killed himself doing it. He would have. He's already. He's going on his fourth surgery in a year of being there. So we just can't. He needs to heal. I need to heal the side that I carry the water buckets for feeding the animals, for doing laundry. My entire side is just destroyed. My doctor thinks it's my back that's causing that, like a nerve in my lower back. That's yeah, just my sciatica. So it's just literally tearing our body down. Now it's time for us to heal. All of my kids are outdoorsy. Even Gage They're is all like super, super excited, excited about this. Yeah, so you, it has to be a family thing to do something like this, like a road. It's, it's called van life. Yeah. And even though our van isn't a conversion van, meaning a high top with the full conversion on the inside as, a, as an RV, we can't do that anyways because of the amount of kids we have. So we've got the low top with the amenities. And then I originally bought this cargo trailer specifically to pull behind this for this exact reason. And I've got it mostly built. Uh, there's some modifications I want to do to it for sure. And I'll start those probably this evening uh, as it gets a little bit cooler. And I'd like to get out there and add the pressure pump and stuff like that for the water. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, it's it, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna, it's be, gonna be a little bit challenging at first till we get the hang of it. Yeah. What is it when you're jumping into something new? But this isn't our first time. Our first time at exploring, we felt we couldn't get rid of all of our stuff. We couldn't let go of our stores. We couldn't lighten our load. We gave up after eight months, and we still had the ur the urge to like to like do this. <laughs> but my older kids at the time didn't want to do that. So. 
they're out of the house and we've tried the off-grid thing definitely not for us we tried it it's great if you like it that's great if you're younger that's great if you don't have younger kids that's great for us personally it's just not for us it's if you had older kids who work that helped yeah they, you had they older can help. work if there were two adults that knew how to do all the stuff that i know it wouldn't have killed my body and that's the only the only reason i don't want to do it or i'm ready to go ahead and end this that and it's really literally cool learning destroyed experience. our marriage we fought so much out here it's put a big big dent in our marriage so if you're thinking about doing this and that is something but that most off-grid families... We were told, we were families, told it. it was like, no, yeah. we're so tight that we never fight. That's not going to happen. It happened. It happened. And it happened a lot. So, um, yeah, this, this will be a fun And that happens when two people are beat down and exhausted. Exhausted, yeah. And it wasn't okay. anything to do with love or anything like that at all. Every argument we had is because we were exhausted. We were exhausted. We were just beat. We were tired. We didn't have any time to ourselves because of the living conditions and ranger station you can show them that right oh. there that this is where we went and got our state par park passes right here you can look in your area google it in your area and see what you can find that's where we got ours so every state in the u.s has national forest offices district offices everywhere it's just a matter of looking um, online and finding where your specific closest national forest office is at gonna run in take our kids to get their school lunches that's another thing living off grid a lot of people are like how are you guys always sick it must be your water or it must be mouth <laughs> no, our water was amazing so the best in the nation we go places that's another thing is off grid to stay put they work all we are we're always in town we we're, we're wanderers yeah. we don't like to stay put we like to move so that's another thing if you're not one that likes to stay home and you like to go out and do things off gridding is probably not for you too Anyways, I'm gonna go feed my kids some school lunches. Yeah. How can I not record him? He's so cute. Come over to me. It's like perfect. Oh, you said your feet sink. Oh, watch. Everyone's had. 